So let's say we wanted to find the value of n plus 1 choose 2. By definition, this is the number of ways to choose two distinct integers from the range 1 to n plus 1, where we say that order doesn't matter. To find this value, let's just list all of the possible pairs of integers and count how many we get. Let's start out with all of the pairs that have a 1 in them. We know that 1 comma 1 doesn't count because we want to choose two distinct integers. So the first pair that starts with 1 is 1 comma 2. We could also have 1 comma 3 or 1 comma 4 all the way up to 1 comma n plus 1. After that, we want to think about all of the choices that have a 2 in them. Now we're not going to start with 2 comma 1 because order doesn't matter. So that's the same thing as 1 comma 2. We already counted that one. So we're going to start with 2 comma 3. And after that we have 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, all the way up to 2 comma n plus 1. After that we would have all the pairs that have a 3 in them. And we would start with 3 comma 4 and then 3 comma 5 all the way to 3 comma n plus 1. And then all the pairs with a 4 with a 5 and then we would keep going until the final one, all the pairs that start with n, which is just n comma n plus 1. So these are all of the possible pairs of integers from the range 1 to n plus 1. And let's count how many there are. The number of integers from 1 to n plus 1 is n plus 1. So the number of integers from 2 to n plus 1 is n, which means that the number of pairs in this row is equal to n. In the second row, instead of all the integers from 2 to n plus 1, we have all the integers from 3 to n plus 1. That's going to be 1 less. So in the second row, there are n minus 1 pairs. After that, we start with a 4 instead of a 3. So again, there's 1 less, and that means we have n minus 2 pairs in this row. And we keep going all the way down until finally n comma n plus 1, there's only one pair in that row. So the value of n plus 1 choose 2 is just the sum of all of these values which means that n plus 1 choose 2 is equal to n plus n minus 1 plus n minus 2 plus n minus 3 all the way down to 1. And this gives us a nice way to remember the formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers because this is equal to n plus 1 choose 2 and we know the formula for the binomial coefficient. This is equal to n plus 1 times n over 2. So that's how we can remember the formula for the sum of the first n natural numbers.